Well, quite a few hours of work later. I got the bed all sanded. Um, probably way smoother than it needs to be, considering I'm on a raptor line. It. Um, I sandblasted these areas where it was pitted. So I'm going to body fill that, smooth that back off so it doesn't telegraph up through the primer and raptor liner. And then where I did those welds up front there, I'm going to put a swipe or two on that as well. I also sandblasted all the seams, the main body seams, you know, like down here and around everywhere I'm going to put seam sealer. I sandblasted using my trusty old two week old Harbor Freight sandblaster and it works pretty good. She's all masked up, got it all sanded, um, masked off all the edges. And let's just shoot the inside so. Got all the holes in the dash on the firewall, I should say, masked off. I plugged most of the little seat holes and such with um, a lot of tape. Not worried about the big body mount holes, it doesn't matter. They're not threaded there. I just didn't want to get the threaded up holes full of, of uh, Raptor liner. It's all seam sealed and I think it's ready to go. So I'm going to wipe it down one more time and then shoot it. Next time you see this truck, it'll have primer on it and then hopefully by tonight it'll have Raptor liner on it. She has a three coats primer, epoxy primer. I have up to 48 hours to top coat it, which in this case is going to be a Raptor liner. So, came out pretty good. Dripped a couple drops of sweat on it somewhere. Right in here, I had to wipe it off with some. Lacquer thinner and shoot it again, but other than that, I mean, yeah, it's got dings and stuff. It's not a show truck. They're not bad. A few little things here and there. Raptor liner will hide a lot of it. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to give it another, said two hours, top coat, minimum of two hours, and a maximum of 48, and it's probably coming up on two hours but I'm going to give it probably about four hours and then get out here and hit it with some texture. While I was at it I had a little extra paint left in the pot so I just took a brush and touched up these areas that were bare metal anywhere that I had ground or welded or what have you just to give myself uh, time there where I'm not worried about it rusting. Had that on both sides. And it is love bug season here in Florida. There's one stuck in the paint. It's rare to see one love bug. If you don't know what they are, consider yourself fortunate. I'm just gonna leave them there until the paint dries. Good and hard. Normally they're in pairs and they're attached. Not sure what they're doing. Alright, here it is all shot with Raptor liner. Three coats of primer, two coats of Raptor liner. Just peeled the masking. Still curing. I still got some shiny spots, but I noticed when I did the engine compartment that as it sets that shiny area evens out and I don't know who invented Raptor liner but I hope they're a billionaire because that's good stuff I mean it's I don't know how durable it is but I'm not gonna 
whole concrete blocks back here. And as far as easy, being easy to work with, it's almost no mess. So I'm happy with it. It's got kind of the look I wanted. And um, let it harden for a couple of days now. I mean, it's already dry to the touch, but I'll let it sit for a few days and then I can actually start putting some things back in the interior or or something along those lines. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. We'll figure that out. A couple of tips with this Raptor liner. Um, if you're going to be shooting over multiple days, you want to clean your gun really good. It's almost a disposable gun, but um, make sure, number one, you got some acetone. That seems to be uh, what it takes to cut this stuff and then the first bottle you shoot save it and before it sets up put some acetone in there and shake it up and clean it out real good and then that can be your clean out bottle because this stuff's real thick it's all coated down in there so what I do is I just um, after I'm done shooting the, the Raptor liner I put the gun I, I put a little acetone in here put the gun in it screw the top on put my thumb over the vent hole on top of the gun and just or my finger and just shake it and it cleans the gun out really well and then spray it a little bit into a, a, a cup or whatever you got there that gives it a uh, cleans out the inside and the outside of the gun real easy and then the second thing there's all there, this thing leaves material in the bottom there's a couple ounces left when the gun starts sucking air so when I get the next bottle I go ahead and catalyze the next bottle it takes eight ounces of uh, catalyst and then shake it up real good to catalyze the new bottle and then I take the old bottle pour it in pour that last couple ounces in there and then shake it some more. Keep in mind you're adding catalyzed material into your new bottle so don't do it unless you're ready to shoot with that second bottle. But to do this bed, you know, the whole cab back to the tailgate and the sides took three of these 24 ounce and really took about two and a half on the last one. I was just going around you know fogging up into the cracks and corners and stuff uh, the last half a bottle or so and then to do the side both side skirts and that firewall it already has dust all over it over there from the sandblasting I was doing up in those corners but um that took two uh, 24 ounces so I've used um, and that, that too also included doing the inside of the wheel tubs front and back so all four wheel tubs and a firewall and the fender skirts was two bottles this uh, all the way up front the back was three bottles that's two full coats on it really and then I had bought a eight bottle kit so I still have um, three bottles left and uh, I'm gonna probably shoot that fuel tank that fuel tank is covered in dust now as a brand new fuel tank it's got that shiny e coat on it so I'm probably gonna scuff that and wrap your line that and I'm gonna go, come back in here and scuff up these tubs and this uh, radiator support everything in here I, I can take the body mounts out and slip some slip a drop cloth up behind and through everything I think work it back and shoot uh, shoot those tubs I'm thinking about even shooting this deck up here but I don't know um, this will, I'll paint the uh, color of the tub so whatever color that may be. Anyway, just some tips with this wrapper liner. I love it. I'm, I might use it for some things outside of the automotive 
uh, world here. I don't know. That's, uh, they, I think you need a good texture paint on it. Looks like it would work pretty good.